Finally, I put my hands on the brand new Dacia Logan XX. This is a special 20 years anniversary edition which Dacia bring on the market. So from now on, if you go on Dacia website, I don't know if it's in all country, I think it's only in some country where you can buy this XX edition. But in the ceremony, in the anniversary of 20 years of Dacia Logan, they decide to come with this limited edition which you can buy which come with a few elements pretty interesting on the car there are not huge huge changes to the car and not changes to the engine powertrain but there are aesthetic change and those aesthetic change i think from my point of view look really nice on the car and in this video i want to make a really fast overview of the car review presentation to show you the changes that come on this uh, dacia logan xx i have already on the channel the normal version full review test drive all the information so Definitely you can check out those videos as well. Now guys, I wanna give you some information about the car. I'm not going to go too deep into the technical data and information about the car because that's not so important, but we will talk more about the changes and aesthetic of the car. Very important is the fact that in these 20 years, Dacia sell over 1,280,000 units from this uh, Logan and 585,000 of them was sold in Romania where the Dacia built this Logan and 695,000 they were sold on the external market mostly in uh, Europe this new version come in three colors you have Arctic white which you don't have to pay extra for it and I have it with me today then you have cedar green and chist gray from my point of view i think the car look much better in white arctic and the good part is that you don't have to pay extra for it so i will go with white definitely and also a new element on this version is the fact that you can choose now b-tone color so you can have the panoramic roof in black and you will see when we go outside the contrast the white and black look really nice and another distinctive elements on this xx version are the alloy wheels randia and the mirror caps which are in black and you will see the xx on the mirror caps you will see the xx in different position which i will show you later plus now you have the radio antenna in a shark tail glossy plastic which look pretty nice from my point of view i think the contrast of colors black and white on this logan look really nice now when it comes to price the car start at around 16,000, but the version that i have with me right here it's around 17,000 euro now depending which country you are the price might be different and regarding the powertrain it comes in two version tce 90 you have a pure petrol engine and you have the eco g100 which is gas and petrol i'm not going to go too much into the information with technical data the version that i have with me is the eco g the, the version with lpg now guys let's go outside to talk a little bit about the exterior interior and let me show you the the changes on this new version as i said before I think this white color in combination with the black contrast and those nice rims I think it fits perfect with the car definitely if I have to choose a color and buy this Logan I will get it white plus it's a free color so why not then you can see the contrast of the black on the roof with the radio antenna I think it looks so nice and also you can see the parking sensors in black I saw online some people that complain about that but to be honest it looks really nice like a contrast with the white color I think it, it fit definitely quite nice uh, making a tour around the car you can see that even though it's one of the most affordable car these days which you can buy in Europe in certain countries uh, I still think it has a beautiful modern design definitely it's a car to take into consideration if you have the possibility in your country to buy it but overall i think it's a fresh new look with this uh, logan xx and uh, definitely it looks nice you can see now the contrasting black roof with the radio antenna which look really nice then on the back here we have the dacia writing in those three-dimensional legs and then on the back on the right side you immediately see this XX special edition so this is how you know it's the uh, new Logan XX uh, edition limited edition Logan on the sticker on the left side a little bit lower you have the reverse camera plus the uh, lights on the number plate 
it. Here we have the parking sensors in black, the fog lamp and the bumper which is in the same color as the car so it's not black matte. They choose to make it all white and it looks so cool. I didn't expect this from a car at uh, this price range. I was expect to have this glossy on super expensive car I saw on the new Porsche Cayenne. Uh, the same all the color was on the lower but here high on Logan I didn't expect that. Here is the tank and we have the LPG and also the gas tank it's here. The rims guys on the rear the car come with those uh, drum brakes those are the 16 inch rims which are alloy rims with black glossy uh, really nice looking pretty pretty solid uh, it feels quite nice then on the side here immediately you see the sticker with xx special edition again here so you know from the side as well also pretty nice with the contrast white contrast of the car a little bit higher we have the same windows the same array the same design here with rubber around the windows this is the mirror pretty big nice mirror the blind spot technology also in the corner here pretty good as a safety feature also we have the black mirror caps with xx uh, writing on the side also another nice element added to the car here is, are the blinkers on the body of the car, normal halogen light and here in the front you have ventilated brake discs and of course the 16 inch rims. On the windshield, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is the sensors for light and raining plus the camera and also this area here is defrosted now so that camera can read the traffic speed limit signs and also help with the emergency brake look at the lines look at on the white look at the lines on the hood how aggressive they are look how interesting it looks the front end the front grille with a new design language from Dacia look super nice also in white and you have the air intakes air intakes we have passive air intakes they are not uh, active then we have here the fog lamp which is not an LED light it's a normal halogen light but very nice this black glossy element inserted around here the same six sensors on the front in black a nice contrast and then a little bit higher we have the daytime running light in this Y design then you have the turning signals also normal halogen light and the low beam it's LED but the high beam it's a normal yellow halogen light probably you saw it in the other videos I'm not going to go too much into details right now I just want to make a quick look of the car in the back here the same lightning system tail lights halogen light turning signal reverse light as well in the trunk not big changes from here you open it just like that it's the same big useful trunk probably one of the most spacious in this class and budget friendly spacious car which you can get it's not a hatchback but it's pretty spacious also the brake light probably you know it's inserted here uh, inside the glass in the back going in the back here kind of the same design actually let me go on the other side because you can see a little bit better because it's the, a little bit more shadow here the same design on the doors it's kind of plastic everywhere here you have the button for the windows this is the handles in gray here we have a speaker and some storage space entrance huge huge entrance i like that the fact that they have the windows here on the door I'll allow you to have a big entrance here and that's that's really good here is the way it looks inside the same seats on the rear so you won't notice any difference if you go here on the rear here in the middle you have a usb c and a 12 volt port very very useful stuff and behind the front seats textile material isofix you can install two child seats uh, the quality it's pretty fine i would say uh, it's pretty good now let me go inside to show you the the dashboard from the back this is the way it looks it's very very similar right? basically it's the same the only changes that we see here are the xx special edition which you see it there in the center console in the front which look pretty nice so you know this is a special edition there you have the usb-c plus a 12 volt port plus some storage space uh, right there on the lower area but other than that pretty much uh, the same design also I like the fact that the car comes with a white roof that means you have a much brighter light inside the 
car, which is crazy nice. Now, let's go in the front. Also, I'm, I'm not going to show you under the hood. This makes no sense. You already saw my videos. Probably if you didn't, check out on the channel because I have uh, another videos where I show you everything in detail. Here we have the same area with stuff material, pretty nice quality. And here we have the button for the windows. Here we have the mirrors, electric adjustable mirrors, lock the windows, storage space. And here we have a speaker. Here we have the XX on this black plate, which look quite nice. So you know, this is the XX edition, normal pedals, the LPG button, the safety features, the lights adjustment, the vents are the same and the seats are different. And I want to show you from this angle. Actually, I want to show you something. Actually, let me turn on the engine and let me go in reverse with this occasion. I can show you the reverse camera and the active lines which are so useful to park the car and now the i want to show you this is the six speed manual uh, transmission it has electronic handbrake man in this price range which is super cool what i want to show you here is the climatic system you probably see it start stop button here we have heated seat in the front echo button so you can put it in echo mode then uh, usb 2 up here which you can use it for your phone the steering wheel can be adjustable up down forward backward now we have the same cockpit analogical cockpit with a digital one in the middle where you can see plenty of information right there in the middle from consumption and all that stuff uh, yeah already probably you know them uh, from my other uh, other videos going here in the middle you can also of course connect your phone but we have the navigation of the car right here let me go into the menu it's kind of the same the same menu here is the navigation we have also the vehicle settings from parking driving assistance system from emergency brake fatigue detection warning blind spot which you can turn it on and um, we have the lane assist settings and overspeed sound alert, access to the doors and park assist camera. And then here on the settings, you can connect your phone, of course, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I have a video about that, so definitely check it out. And here we have all other language and all other settings of the car. So in general, this is the mirror, by the way. This is the way visibility is so good, so good and probably one of the unique car with uh, white around the mirrors here. Up here, SOS button, have a mirror here, vanity mirror, and uh, uh, let me close the engine. And the other things, I think they are pretty much the same. So I don't know, I think I cover almost everything, guys. I hope you get some useful information from here. If you still have question, ask me down below whatever question you have. From my point of view, a nice refresh to this uh, Logan. I can't wait to see the next version. Probably it's one of the most weighted car from my point of view, the new Logan and also the new Sandero from Dacia will be really interesting. So I'm looking forward. I wish to see some full hybrid system on the car and uh, new multimedia system and screens. They are really welcome and other than that i want to be surprised so i wait to see what will happen i hope the video was useful thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe really appreciate that you're here guys thank you stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys